cloudy, dreary, overcast day throughout our area. Here's a live look at conditions in Waukesha. And we'd love to see some sunshine if we could. And it looks like good things will come to those of us who wait. The end of the week appears to be the bright spot, right, Brian? At least there's no ice on the Fox River out there. <laughs> True. We we're just in the weather center watching you guys all work out. We're thinking. And it wasn't all of us. <laughs> <laughs> just Allison. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Let's go. <laughs> all right. We have some flurries throughout the day. Cloud cover as well. Still dreary from the storm system that just missed us as we projected over the weekend. Uh, Stay to the south. St. Louis, six to nine inches of snow. Indianapolis still seeing some very light snow. They've already had up to around nine to ten inches of snow as well. And we had that what, snow shower activity throughout the day yesterday. But that is it. For tomorrow, can continue to be unseasonably cold. We'll see a little bit more sunshine, a little bit, still fairly amount of clouds. But as the week goes on, more sun and the warming trend be continues. March has been, well, according to this graphic, volatile. <laughs> Warmth to the south, severe storms to the south as well. But that has been kind of suppressed of late for the fact that they're even seeing colder temperatures. Heavy rains as well along the Gulf Coast states from Alabama to North Florida over the weekend. Two to five inches of rain. You talked about the snow in the middle part of the country. And of course, this month has been about six degrees below normal for us as well. Uh, I have to say congratulations and a huge thank you to everybody that came out Saturday for Fight for Air Climb. There are 62 climbs around the country. Milwaukee now, after five years, this is the fifth year, we are number one in the amount of people climbing at over 2,500 and the amount of money raised at over a half million dollars on Saturday alone. I said I wanted to climb the stairs three times. I did it four, and the fourth time I wore fireman's gear, an extra 65 pounds. That was on my fourth try. I'm surprised I'm standing. Jake is actually holding me up. You just can't see him. Right <laughs> uh, once again, the Fox River, uh, the, the levels are up because of all the precipitation we had. More good news, the drought is officially over with. Still to our south, Kenosha, Racine, and Walworth County abnormally dry. But with this very wet winter and now early spring that we've been having, the drought conditions shockingly are over with. We thought it might take a couple of years, but the winter has been so wet, unseasonably wet, that... The drought's over. Let's hope that continues, though. We don't want to have a washout of a spring, but we also don't want to get back into that drought pattern because we're right there on the edge. But good news for the farmers and for your lawns. 32 degrees in West Bend right now, 32 in Burlington, 33 in Lake Geneva. One of these days we'll see our lawns. The snow is gradually beginning to melt, and I'm thinking by the end of the week, a lot of the snow will be gone except for those huge piles. 24 in West Bend, 22 in Beaver Dam. These are the wind chills as we continue to get those winds of 15 to 30. Overnight tonight, the temps are in the low to mid 20s. The wind chills will be in the teens. Tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine, northwesterly wind at 10 to 15, highs in the upper 30s. So we're inching our way toward that 40 degree mark. 44 is about normal now. So because of that, the Goddard gauge, a 5 out of 10. Because of the clouds, the breeze, and the still below normal temperatures. We'll show you the home opener forecast coming up here in just a second. But good news, the storm system moving out of here. High pressure settling in for the rest of the week. It will be sunny and a gradual warming trend until we get to Easter. 25 degrees tonight, some evening flurries, otherwise mostly cloudy. Few clouds tomorrow and some sunshine. I have 37. The seven day forecast, 38 on Wednesday, 42 on Thursday. There's the warming trend. Back to normal on Friday, near 50 on Saturday. And we'll have rain, snow mix Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we'll have to watch Monday carefully. I still think it's gonna be mild, but there is a, some discrepancies in other forecast models that say it's going to get cold. But we'll keep it sunny and 50 for right now. That's a week away. There's still time. Oh, yes. All right. Thanks, Brian. <laughs>